Now for AppGuard score. Right now we're going to be going over the AppGuard scoring, as well as showing you interventions based on the score. And lastly, we're going to do some really fun practice questions at the very end of the video to help you on your exams. Now the AppGuard is a simple, quick assessment tool used to rapidly describe a newborn's well-being immediately after birth and how it's adjusting to life outside the womb. Remember, infants are rated on a scoring system from 0 to 10. Obviously, higher the score, the healthier the baby. Now, it's important to note that it's done twice, at one minute after birth and five minutes after delivery here. And it may be reassessed for a third time at 10 minutes, if the score is less than 7. So remember, the key number for the NCLEX is 7. So Saunders mentions, when should the nurse plan to determine the APGAR score? At one minute after birth and five minutes after birth. Now, Hesse mentions APGAR score of 10 at one minute after birth. An infant having no difficulty adjusting to extrauterine life. But who should be assessed again five minutes after birth? Now, getting into our chart. As you can see, the APGAR chart is just an acronym rating each letter in the APGAR with a set of points. So starting from left to right. For A, this is appearance, or basically skin color. Zero points is blue, pale, core. One point is for blue arms and legs, and a pink body. This is what's known as acrocinosis. And two points are given to a completely pink baby. Now P is for pulse, or basically heart rate. Zero points is for an absent pulse. One point is for less than 100 beats per minute. And two points for over 100 beats per minute. Remember, higher the score, happier the baby. Now, G is for grimace, or reaction and reflex. Does the infant cry and move away naturally when stimulated? So, zero points are given for absent grimace. One point is for a grimace, where the baby only cries when stimulated. And two points is given for a baby that cries and pulls away naturally. Now, A is for activity, or basically muscle tone. So zero points is for a limp baby. This is what we do not want. And one point is for a minor flexion. Now two points is for active flexion as well as extension. And R is for respiratory effort. So zero points goes to absent respiratory effort. One point is for a weak cry, and two points is for a very strong cry. So it's vital to know these numbers and how to rate it, since the NCLEX is all about safety. You need to know how to spot lower ratings, as it means the newborn is in severe distress. So I always tell students to start with 10 points and then focus on what's bad and start subtracting the bad signs. Hey there, nursing student, listen up. Did you know only 20% of our videos are here on YouTube? You're missing out on over 900 videos not on YouTube, plus 500 visual study guides that follow along every video and a massive quiz bank to test your knowledge. All neatly organized in our new app. Try it for free. Visit simplenursing.com today. So really bad, we subtract two points. And kind of bad, you just subtract one point. So trust me, it's much easier than trying to remember and add all the good stuff too. Because remember, the APCAR score is really big. So for the NCLEX and your nursing exams, please focus on the most deadly conditions, since these are the most tested conditions. And now you can see how important this chart is to answer questions correctly. All right, guys, that wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out the study guides and download the app.